Hello guys, Survival Tech Nord here. Today we have another quick and dirty for you. It's the Ultra Pack BMS once again. This time we're going to show you how to connect up a reset switch to the BMS to reinitialize it after we've lost power from removal of the 18650 batteries. So stick with me and uh, let's get started. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. So the last time we touched on the BMS, we discovered that after the removal of the 18650 batteries, we needed to reinitialize the BMS. Well, this video is about a no-brainer solution to implement a momentary switch for the BMS reinitialization. All right, let's go. So in this first image, you can see that I've connected between B plus, that's battery plus, and P plus, that's power plus. So here it is from another angle, just to make it a bit more clear. We have connected a momentary switch between battery plus and power plus. Apologies for the quick change in the middle of the video, but I decided to add the voltage meter to the BMS power output to help the demonstration. So the voltage meter is now connected to uh, power plus and power minus on the output side. It will come on when we press the momentary switch and get power from the battery pack after the BMS is initialized. Let's go ahead and add some batteries to the tray so that we can demonstrate once again why we need this momentary switch between power plus and battery plus on the BMS. So if we were getting power on the output of the BMS, we would already see the voltage meter lighting up and displaying the relevant voltage. Now if we go ahead and push that momentary switch, you'll see the voltage meter light up and display the output voltage on power plus and power minus of the BMS. Now you might also notice, no matter how many times I push that momentary switch, nothing bad happens to the BMS. Moreover, pressing the momentary switch doesn't change the voltage of the load port. That's still going to get 12 volts. So I received the question, who needs the switch or why do we need to use this switch? The only people who need to use this momentary switch to reinitialize the BMS are those who are going to use the removable battery trays. Makers who are making a battery pack with the BMS integrated only need to reinitialize it the first time. Just so you all know, I've got one more component on the way that I'm waiting for from Amazon. Once I get that component, I'll do some testing, and then soon after that, we'll start to make the build videos. And that brings us to the end of the video. Don't forget to like us on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Google+, Facebook, and of course, survivaltechnology.net, where we share lots of supporting news and information, as well as key stories and videos from our channel buddies. And finally, if you think I deserve it, please give me a thumbs up and share this video with someone who you think might enjoy it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Rock and roll. Ciao.